facing cell phone behavior. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm not sure how well the camera's going to pick up a close up whisper like this uh, because it seems to pick up every other sound. But I'm hoping it can help, help you now. I am going to be reading off a script, and uh, I'm sorry if that takes away any of the personalization of this. But uh, I did one before on another channel, and it seemed quite nice. But I thought if I showed at least a part of me, it would help. So. I'm a man in my late 20s, so it takes absolutely everyone. So uh, here we go. Self-harm or nervous rituals may include emotions such as hair pulling, hitting oneself, cutting, scratching, pinching, burning, or any other way of hurting oneself. This may also include general self-defeating actions such as under or overeating, substance abuse, neglect, or lack of care. These behaviours can occur for a variety of reasons, <clears throat> some of which include low self-esteem, self-hatred, punishing the self, masochistic tendencies are getting a majority of causing self-harm, boredom, nervousness or anxiety, an attempt to feel something, feelings of emptiness or loneliness, feeling upset or angry, to vent emotions, trying to turn emotional hurt into something physical. Now, I'm not sure you may be affected by some, all of those, or you have your other reasons. One of the main reasons, things to not forget, is that you're not alone. So many people go through this, so many. It's, uh, it's a very taboo subject. Regardless of your reason of self-harm or nervous behaviours occur, these actions are negative for coping strategies. This relaxing script aims to create a feeling of calm and then explore more positive coping alternatives. Find a relaxed position in a quiet place and as you settle in, turn your awareness inside. Tune in out everything around you and focus in inside your own mind. I'm going to count down from 10 to 1. Focus completely on the numbers, noticing nothing else, allowing yourself to become intensely focused and relaxed. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, I must apologise for the outside noises. I haven't quite learned. I've just ruined this. Sorry. Now that you're starting to feel relaxed, think about the types of nervous behaviour or self-harm behaviour you've used in the past to use now. Identify in your mind what these behaviours are. They may be self-defeating behaviours that you've not been aware of. Ways you mistreated yourself unknowingly. Or you may have deliberately engaged in behaviours that are unharmful. Simply think about and identify nervous or self-harm behaviours you have engaged in. Now that you have identified some of the negative coping strategies that you have used, think about the implications of these behaviours. <clears throat> what are the results of engaging in nervous behaviours or rituals? of using the self-harm behaviour. There are probably benefits to some of these actions, otherwise you wouldn't do them. Some positive results of using them. You would not have used these coping strategies if there was no positive result. Think about the benefits and positive results of the nervous rituals or self-harm behaviours you have used. Let's consider the other side. You can see that you have valid reasons for using these behaviours. But 
what are the negative results or the drawbacks of these behaviours. These behaviours have had the benefits, but they have also had costs. Which side is stronger for you right now, the costs or the benefits? More positive coping behaviours may allow you to experience the benefits without so many costs. Think again about the benefits of your nervous rituals or self-harm behaviours. These benefits may indicate part of the underlying need that drives the behaviour. For example, if you engage in hair pulling whenever you are stressed or upset, it is likely that you are using the hair pulling as a way of releasing stress and coping with negative feelings. It is probably a way of directing negative feelings towards yourself. This suggests that your underlying need may include stress relief and expression of feelings. It is also likely that your self-esteem is low and that you have a need to improve your self-image. Think about your own underlying needs. What needs do the benefits of your nervous or rituals or self-harm behaviour suggest? You have been meeting these needs by using nervous rituals or these self-harm behaviour. If you decide that you would like to change these behaviours, it is still possible for your needs to be met. Consider some healthy coping skills that may meet your needs, for example, healthy exercise, such as walking, running, yoga, stretching, weightlifting, or sports. They may help to alleviate boredom, cope with stress, release nervous energy, or improve self-esteem. Consider some healthy coping rituals that... <laughs> Got that bit. Perhaps assertive communication skills may allow you to express your feelings and ask for what you need from others. You can learn and practice effective communication by taking a communication class, speaking with a counsellor, or attending an assertive group. Maybe you seek non-verbal means of expressing yourself, such as artwork or music. You could draw or sculpt or sing rather than harm yourself. There are many other positive coping skills available. Think about some options you could try, some alternatives to the nervous rituals or self-harm behaviours that will meet the needs you identified earlier. You do not need to come up with new coping skills completely on your own. You can get help from others including friends, family, counsellors, or your doctor. If you are not sure what could replace the nervous rituals or the self-harm, make an agreement with yourself now to seek out support within one week. The remainder of this relaxation exercise will help you to relax as an alternative to self-harm. Now, I'm going to go close up ear to ear for this one. It may help and relax and uh, seeking ASMR might help you a bit. Close your eyes and take a few minutes to breathe. Allow the air to flow through slowly in and out of your lungs, feeling the energy and calm absorb from each breath. You are able to pause right now, to keep from engaging in any self-harm behaviours, simply calm and relaxed. When you have an urge to use self-harm, it is a sign that you have unmet needs. What is it you need right now? What needs are you trying to fill by using self-harm? What needs are your nervous rituals aiming to fill? If you are upset, simply allow yourself to feel upset for a few moments. You are not going to feel this way forever. In fact, the feeling will pass more quickly if you allow it rather than fighting it. It's ok 
okay to feel stressed, angry, lonely, or upset. There is nothing wrong with having negative feelings, although they are unpleasant. These feelings will not last forever. Expressing the feelings will allow them to naturally run their course. Avoiding the feelings by using self-harm will provide only short-term relief, but over the long term, the feelings will continue to build up. Notice that you can really use relaxation techniques to experience relief instead of using negative coping behaviours. Let us use relaxation right now. Focus completely right now on your breathing. Breathe slowly in. And breathe slowly out. Take each breath as slowly. Calming, letting each breath relax you a bit more. Concentrate on your feet. Notice a feeling of warmth and heaviness in your feet. Your feet are becoming very heavy, sinking downward. So very heavy. Focus on your legs and notice your legs getting heavier, becoming heavy, as heavy as lead, weighing down so heavily you can barely lift them if you were to move. But you are filled with such a feeling of stillness. You feel content and simply rest still and relaxed. So heavy. Relaxed. Notice your arms becoming heavy. Your upper arms and lower arms are very heavy. And your hands are feeling heavy as well. So heavy and relaxed. Notice your, your whole body begins to feel heavy, your upper arms and lower arms, it feels like you are sinking downward, relaxing completely into heaviness, so warm, heavy and relaxed, the feeling of heaviness is pleasant, allow yourself to sink into a feeling of peace, serenity and calm. Notice how you are feeling right now, physically and emotionally. Take note of how much calmer you feel after relaxing. You might even find that the urge to use self-harm has passed. If the urge is still present, you may decide to continue to use relaxation techniques. Or you might choose to do another activity, such as calling a friend, writing in a journal, or going for a walk. You are stronger than the negative coping skills that you may have used before. You do not need to continue to use these behaviours because you have alternatives. Try one of the alternatives now. If it does not work, you will simply be back where you started, where you are now. You will have nothing to lose by putting off the self-harm and trying something new. If you would like to continue to relax, take the next few moments to and the feeling of relaxation you are experiencing. Notice any areas where your muscles feel tense. Now imagine directing the energy from your breath into one tense area and feeling your, your breathing relaxes spot. Imagine taking away the tension, breathing in relaxation and breathe in out tension. Breathe in and out. In and out. Becoming relaxed with each breath you take. Each, each breath you take take you deeper into a state of relaxation. You have now completed the relaxation exercise. You can choose to become fully awake or drift off to sleep. I will count to three if you decide to wake up. Be 
become more alert with each number. Until at three you have returned to your usual level of wakefulness. If you decide to go to sleep, you can become sleepier with each number. Drifting off to sleep with the number three. sleepy. I hope this has helped and it has at least helped you put off whatever you wanted to, to do originally. Uh, I've I found this script has helped me before and uh, I wanted to try and help others. I'm sorry for showing you this ugly mugger. <laughs> so um, take care.